Okay, in this video I want to talk about uh, the right hand grip rule and this is the rule where we grip a current carrying conductor and work out the direction of the magnetic field around it. But it's useful for other things too and we'll see that shortly. So this rod simulates some current carrying conductor and the current is flowing diagonally upwards through it here. The way the right hand grip rule works is that you grab the conductor with your thumb pointing along the direction of current. What happens then is that your fingers will wrap around this thing in the direction of the magnetic field. Because the magnetic field around a conductor comes in the form of a circle. But it has a direction to it, it's either clockwise or anticlockwise, and that's what we're trying to achieve with this grip rule. So we've got current going along this way, that's producing magnetic field around this thing. So here we have a vertical current and that will produce a circular magnetic field around the piece of wire. So this current's going down and we need to bring in our right hand grip rule to figure out what's happening. We imagine we're gripping that conductor with our thumb pointing down. It must be your right hand and your thumb must be pointing down to match the direction of current. And what we find is if we grip with our right hand with our thumb pointing down is that our fingers wrap around that in a clockwise direction and that means the field around this downward current will be clockwise. Now it doesn't take a genius to work out that if this current was coming up instead of going down our fingers would be wrapping around it in an anticlockwise direction so if we reverse the direction of the current we get a reversal of the field. So with a downward current we get our fingers wrapping around in a clockwise direction and with an upward current we get our fingers wrapping around in an anti-clockwise direction. So this is how we identify the field around a single piece of wire. Now one of the first things we do once we establish that a wire carrying a current makes magnetism is we form it into a large coil often around a piece of iron to make an electromagnet. Now in these cases we still have a direction of current here that we can identify. And there are many weird and wonderful ways of figuring out which end of this um, is the North Pole and which end is the South Pole because this will behave very much like a North Pole and a South Pole that you would get in a bar magnet. So there will be field lines making their way in at one end and making their way out at another end. In order to identify whether or not the field is heading in or out, we can actually either use a complicated uh, method of imagining that, for example, you're looking down this end and trying to see the direction the current is flowing in from your point of view, or looking down this end and trying to see the direction the current is flowing in from your point of view. But you can actually just use the right-hand grip rule. If we imagine this conductor is a single front piece of wire that we can grab with our right hand, what you find is that when you grab this one, the f fingers of your right hand are pointing into the hoop. That's telling us that the field is coming in. And if you grab this one, you find the fingers of your right hand are pointing out of the, the coil. And that's telling you that the field is leaving at this side. So I'll see if I can show you that in another demo. So these hoops here represent the uh, coils and we imagine that this is the coil belonging to this end 
and these are the middle coils and then this coil belongs to this end. And what I'm going to do is by right hand gripping in the the current here is all in the upper direction on the front just like this one is. So if we right hand grip this with our thumb pointing up I want to show you that my fingers appear to be pointing in to this coil at the right hand end here. Okay, so I bring my hand up and right hand grip it with my thumb pointing up. My fingers have to go into the coil. So I've got fingers pointing into the coil. So field is coming in at this end. So if I now do the same trick at the other end, the right hand end of the coil, you can hopefully see that my fingers are pointing out. So I've got field coming in at this end out at that end and that's telling us that when we've got currents in this particular direction all upward that the field lines are entering at this side and leaving at this side and if you remember from your bar magnet field lines leave at the north and they enter at the south so the right hand grip rule has enabled, enabled us to identify the poles of this electromagnet just by gripping the conductors at the two ends and deciding if our fingers are pointing into the hoop or out of the hoop at either end. Now we could have a coil set up so that the currents roll down on the front and we can still use the right hand grip rule to identify what's happening with the field this field is going in at the ends. So we need to do the right hand grip rule on the coils at either end but this time with our thumb pointing down. So now I have rearranged the direction to point down so I'm going to come along and right hand grip this again only this time with my thumb pointing down to see are my fingers pointing into the loops or out of them and you can see at this end they're pointing out whereas at this end they're pointing in so we've got field coming in on this side out on that side and that lets us know that these field lines are leaving and that these field lines are entering so this must be a north and this must be a south so the single grip rule that allows us to identify the circular field around a single conductor can just as easily be used on a coil. So there's no need for any more complicated rules to figure out what's happening with the poles on a coil. So I hope you find the grip rule particularly helpful whether you're dealing with a straight wire carrying a current like these cases or a complicated coil like this. Okay, hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.